Well, there is nothing quite like this occasion. Welcome to the UEFA Champions League final. The best two teams in Europe this season preparing to go head-to-head -head for the crown. This is Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined, as always, on these big occasions by the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. It's Barcelona up against Inter. Well, I'm so excited for everybody, the fans, everybody connected to both clubs, but it's the players I'm so excited for. I've never actually played in a Champions League final, but played in other finals. I know what the feeling, we can see the nerves already starting to jangle. How do you cope with those nerves, Derek? How do you settle yourself down before what's going to become probably the biggest game of your career? This is what we think for Barcelona. And this is it, the final of the UEFA Champions League. It's where everyone wants to be. Only two sides can accomplish that feat. And Lee, it's going to be fascinating to see what happens tonight. Well, it is. It's the big part here. It will be after the game. But as players, it's very difficult to try and stay in the moment and not get carried away. And that's the job of the senior players in the dressing room, but also the coach. Look around your team, see the calm ones, have a word with them, get them to pass the message on. Stick to the game plan, go out and win the game. The Inter starting lineup. Samir Handanovic gets the nod in goal. Milan Skriniar plays alongside Stefan de Vrij in central defence. And leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. Sergio Busquets. Now Jordi Alba. Depay. Pedri. They've regained possession. Ivan Perisic. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man. Lee, what do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, when you're playing against a player, sometimes you're trying to look at what his qualities are. Is he a good hold-up player? Is he quick? Is he this? Is he that? But when somebody tells you he's a finisher, you know you're in big trouble. Can he take the chance? A goal for Barcelona. The Blaugrana out in front in the Champions League final. So how important will that be for Barcelona to get their noses in front? That remains to be seen. Well, let's look at this again. Magical football on the break. Surprise is the key. And the timing to get this spot on. Yes, it needs a bit of luck. But boy, does it need skill as well. It's a brilliant goal. to restart the game it's going to be interesting to see how they reply to that setback Kolarov De Frey Barella Eriksson wonderfully weighted pass Sadly, from his point of view, wayward to say the least. Well, it's a shocker. I wasn't very good at heading, Derek, but I could have done better than that. Eric Garcia. Garcia. PK. Test. 
Dembele on the ball. And fed forwards. And he's in. Will he? Simple stop for Handanovic. Eric Garcia. Serginho Dest. Frankie de Jong. Well, it could be on for him here. Couldn't hang on to it. PK. Serginho Dest. Dembele on the ball. Dest. Dembele with the cross. Being pressed hard. Oh, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Ericsson. Well, attacking possibilities for the Nerazzurri. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Well, as you can see, Barca haven't had too much of the ball, but to their credit, they've been absolutely blistering on the counter-attack. They just sit back, hit you on the break, and it's really working for this team. Depay. Oh, tremendous vision. Dembele's in the centre. Well, no problems defensively. Eriksen. Can they hit on the break? Well, beating his opponent. Martinez! This could square the game, but the keeper has his say. And how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, Derek, he got all his angles completely right. That's what he's there for. Keep it out the net. Well, the first 45 minutes have come and gone here in Catalonia. 45 minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Vidal. Barella. Now here's Arturo Vidal. Ivan Perisic. It's with Milan Skriniar. Given away by Inter. Depay. Pedri. Luc de Jong. Dembele on the ball. Crossing opportunity. Well, they keep the ball moving. But it can't get through. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Dumfries. Martinez. Barella. The ball with Martinez. Vidal. It's with Chalhanolu. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. They've given him too much space. Fruitful looking attack. And here's Chalanoru. The cut back. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Needs to tread carefully. Serginho Dest. 
now with De Jong disappointing pass so 20 minutes to go Ericsson the ball with Martinez Vidal De Frey Inter in a position of menace doing well to keep possession now the outcome as a free kick here now they're going to alter things here's the substitution well, straight into the meat of the penalty area and Barca moving the ball with purpose can he put it away and the post coming to the goalkeeper's aid. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Fed over towards the back post. Chalanolu. Christian Eriksen now. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Well, they have the ball in a very promising position, but now it's been taken away from them. Coutinho. Could play it in. Good idea, that particular move, but not to be. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. Pedri. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Real chance. What a save it was. To... And now the wait is over. Barcelona have done it. The Champions League trophy will return to Catalonia. Well, magnificent end to a long, long, hard season. Eventually they got their rewards and fully, fully justified. Well, for one team, it's a story of celebration. For the other, bitter disappointment. But the Barca players will remember this night for the rest of their lives. And as a player, Lee, as a Barcelona player in this case, this is what you want to experience. Well, it is. You have expectations at the start of the season, all those long, hard training sessions in pre-season. You kind of need a goal to get through that pain. And focusing on winning trophies for Barcelona will be that carrot that they need. It's Barcelona's Champions League. And they've got to savour this. It's not every night this comes along. Well, it probably will be here.